and we are back again with my legacy let's play a step into isaiah's crazy life we just came back from family holiday and if you guys didn't watch the last video i recommend you guys going to watch that right now because i got some tea to spill so our dear friend corey right here she's pregnant what yeah she's pregnant she's eating for two the risky woohoo being on is is here and we have another child on the way. Our baby here, Lucas, he looks so sad and upset, but you know, we're gonna fix him up right now. And then Isaiah, you know, he's just here. He's our main Sim, the start of the series. And look at him looking cool as ever. So we're actually our, oh, we're at home. Okay, so what's wrong with Lucas anyway? He's hungry. So let's go feed Lucas. We're gonna feed him in the high chair. Isaiah, let's go get your needs up. You gotta go use the bathroom, so let's go do that. Isaiah! What are you doing? Oh my gosh, Isaiah, I told you to let Corey handle it. Oh my gosh, Isaiah, go to the bathroom and let Corey handle it for once. Let's bring him, bring him inside. Hurry, 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 hurry. Bring him inside. Go. He's gonna freeze to death. That's not even inside the house. Oh, she passed out. The baby's about to get taken away. Isaiah, no. Let's try some baby food in the high chair since he can. Let's just do something classic like applesauce. Corey, no. Corey, leave him alone now. You're gonna just gonna go to go, go to bed. Isaiah, no! The baby is gonna die, literally. The baby is about to die. All right, let's try this again. Okay, applesauce. Oh, it's Lucas's birthday. Yeah, he likes applesauce. All right, we're gonna have to change his diaper. Should we age him up right now? It is his birthday after all, and it's and it's seven o'clock. Yeah, well, let's just age him up. Lucas has earned a bonus trait. See all of his bonus traits in the Somology panel. Top-notch infant. Toddlers, day spent playing with toys, exploring the world, and learning to communicate with worlds inside of tears await. This is a perfect time to start skill building for the future. Let's randomize this trait. And he's a charmer, yay! Why does he got braids now? I thought we could turn this into a toddler bed. Okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's just get the toddler bed. Put this in our inventory. All right, let's put, let's put Lucas to sleep. Let's all go to sleep. He's up. What is he up for? Why is he waking her up? I don't, Quir oh, Quirks Revealed hates bedtime. Lucas really resists having to go to bed. Tired with this hate bedtime quirk, tend to wake up shortly after falling asleep and will often ask the caregiver for various things to avoid sleeping. They also won't choose to sleep on their own until they're very, very tired. Each toddler is different from the next, has three Toddler quirks that can be discovered over time. To read more about Lucas's new quirk, visit the traits section and symbology panel. Well, look, his ass is going to bed anyway. No, get, no, you're going to sleep. Go to sleep. All right, so Corey just got up. She's getting some leftovers. I think what we really should do is like cook something. So I think Isaiah will come down here and serve breakfast. Just so that the baby can have some food. All right, so serve breakfast. Let's do some French toast. Quirk revealed early riser. Lucas seems to naturally rise with the sun. Early riser toddlers are more likely to wake up when the sun comes up, so long as they've already gotten enough rest. Each toddler... Oh, well, that's just saying the same thing. So he is up now. We should probably do him a little makeover, because what is this? I don't, yeah, he can't walk down the stairs yet, so there's that. So I need Isaiah to hurry up and finish this French toast so I can get some of the baby. And Isaiah's going to work. He's very sad because of what? Purpose of life from unfulfilled dreams. Shared sadness. Like, why are you sad? Corey, do you have work today? You do have work today, so you should go to work. Send it to daycare. Hey, Corey, I've been thinking about getting to know Yasmin Tinker better f as a friend. Do you think the two of us should hang out? I don't even care. I don't even know who you guys are. You are calling Corey. Do you even know Corey? You the one person she knows that's alive. Like, Santa Claus, like, no offense, bro, you don't count. But, like, come on now. Attention grabber. Isaiah has been working on a really interesting article, but he is worried that it won't grab anyone's attention when they come to his blog. Adding a little fun to things might be worth it. Let's see. Flip that wheel or flip the coin. Heads. Tried and true title. Isaiah has started building fledgling entrepreneurial skills through hustling to build the skill, fame, but mostly fortune awaits. The article got a good number of views, but nothing for Isaiah to brag about. Performance gained small. 
Lifestyle daily cap. What lifestyle has she reached? Oh, Isaiah's home. Lucas is back home. Let's go check on the toddler. No fun. Let's play. Oh, new family dynamic. Strict. When it comes to Isaiah and Lucas, a sense of order seems to be abound. As a younger Sim has a deep respect for their older family member, often meeting the older Sim's high expectations. For family members with strict family dynamic, the toddler Sim will ask the younger Sim to do things like clean, cleaning more, and the younger Sim will generally, generally avoid rebelling. Through both, might get stressed overall. Yeah, the, they discovered it, so we gotta do it. Let's potty. I don't even think he has to go potty, does he? He doesn't. So let's just teach him to talk. Corey came home. Why are you standing on this? Corey, I'm gonna need you to start doing a little bit more around the house. Like, let's go. Hop, hop for others. Let's get that started. Who's calling you? What's up, Isaiah? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Let's see. Are you giving out the number? Da -da 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 -da. Tells. No number to give. Corey's getting a phone call. Who's this? I've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away. For some reason, they have left you a vast fortune. Specifically to you, will you accept it? So let's see what it's going to tell us to do with Corey. If you guys know anything about this, you know the conditions that we're going to have to endure if it happens. So three, two, one, spin. Money, 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 money. Ah, uh, okay. Very well. However, now that you've accepted, I must inform you that you will only get this money if you become married within seven days. Those are the terms. Good luck and congratulations on the next chapter in your life. And I did not want to get married in seven days, but how about we have you go upstairs and propose to Isaiah? She decided not to propose to him and read a book. What book is she reading? The Lord of the Swings. Why is he getting upset? He's tired. All right, let's just let's just stop doing this. He can't get down the stairs, can he? Oh, he can. I need all y'all to get in there and eat. All right, what did that say? Lucas is just a helpless toddler, and caregivers and other sons in the household will need to take care of him. He is also communication level three, so that's fantastic. Well, he has to pee, so let's go to the let's go to the bathroom and then put him to bed because he's he's about to fall asleep and crash. Unless Corey's taking him to bed right now. Where is he going? P pass out. If you just sit on the toilet and pee, you can go to bed. Why is he in the high chair? That's literally the complete opposite. I just want this kid to pee in the toilet and then put him to bed. Like, how hard is that? All we gotta do is just wait till he goes and then you can go to bed. Come on, he's almost there. He's almost about to have an accident. Put him to go, you go to sleep. You go use the toilet. Acquired the potty skill. Toilet training makes dirty diapers a thing of the past. Potty skill teaches toddlers to use the potty chair and prove it by having an adult train a toddler. Look who's up. He's sleeping on that. He'd rather take a nap on that than to sleep in his own bed. Okay, well, I'm not going to question it. Lucas is now just up playing on this tablet. But he's also tired, so let's stop him from doing that. Let's put him to bed. Corey, she's up. She's taking a bath. That's cool. Corey, what if we had you come down here and make some breakfast? I tried to tell you to go to the bathroom, girl. I tried to tell you. So now what? Now she got her first accident, right? First, bladder failure. Okay, take a shower then. Can she go to the bathroom? Like, can you go take a shower already? I need you to, I need somebody to vacuum up these. Oh my gosh, who are you? Let's go give Lucas a bubble bath. Corey, I want you to get off your feet now, okay? Corey, I just need you to go get off your feet and relax. Go watch a movie. Just chill. Isaiah, you handle Lucas. Why are you guys fighting? Isaiah, you go give Lucas a bubble bath now. Lucas, you're still tired. Oh my God. Why are we talking to him? Why are you talking to a stranger? Go get a bubble bath from your dad. Ooh. Let's just make the payment. Let's just make the payment. Let's just, fin let's just finish that off. Because why are you not giving him a bubble bath? Sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. Would you be... Interested in making a generous donation to charity? Let's see. Are we even interested in donating to charity? Let's see. Tails, not interested. Get lost. Corey, you're tired, so I need you to go lay down. You know, you're at the end of your pregnancy. And you just relax. We are going to go put Isaiah down. For, or not Isaiah. We're going to put Lucas down for a nap. 
Read Lucas to sleep. You can come over here and play some games. You haven't played games in so long. Like, what do you need to do for work? You need to get 100 followers. We're ready. We are ready for a promotion, but we don't. We only have 36 followers. All right. Enough of that. Who's calling Corey? Hey, Corey, I fancy some Sakura tea. Want to... This is her dead dad calling her. And like, I, I, I don't want to control. I can like send her to go, but I personally, actually I could have just did heads or toes. Hold on. I don't want to go Corey. I just would rather have her go by herself. It says, okay. Okay. But I don't want to control Corey. Like I'm going back to the house. Oh, this is actually her grandfather. I don't know who Corey's. Where? First of all, where is Corey's? So even on Corey's genealogy, nobody pops up. But he's her grandfather. I didn't even know that. You still are sitting at thirty-six followers. So let's get your let's get your stuff up. Isaiah has created a new social media profile. Nobody can go anywhere in the social media sphere if they don't have an online presence. Use your social media profile to gain followers, grow your network, and become an online powerhouse. Isaiah gained a few followers while updating his social media status. Isaiah has gained 15 followers. He now has 63 followers in total. So we just have to keep doing the social media stuff. So he has 98 followers. So he only needs two more followers and we can get that promotion. Let's get some leftovers. Corey's back home, so we will have to watch the countdown soon. Take a nap real quick, Corey. When is she going to have the baby? Give birth and question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, well, we could get a, a New Year's baby. How many days did we have to like get married? I think what we'll do is we'll propose to him on New Year's, like after the countdown, right? We do our little countdown thing. And then she proposes like New Year's. How does that sound? Okay, I'll use the bathroom real quick. What is this? Married for money from trying to get inheritance money. Oh, so we got five days. Go pee, Corey, you're gonna miss the countdown. Oh my gosh. Hurry, 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 run. Okay, go, go, come, come back, come back, come back. She didn't even flush the toilet nor wash her hands. Go, Corey, go, Corey. I need you to hurry up so you can do this countdown. Woo! Happy New Year! Woo! All right, Corey, now. Now. Propose. She's not proposing. Oh, she's proposing. Guys, she proposed. We're getting married. <laughs> All right, let's see what happened. Lifestyle loss. Isaiah has lost his single and loving it lifestyle. He'll have to work hard if he wants to get that back. Then again, maybe it's time to try something new. Isaiah and Corey are engaged. And she's doing it for the money. Hee hee hee. Messiness kills the mood. She's tired. She's about, or she's tense from that. Everything feels a bit dirty. But I'm pretty sure Lucas is about to wake up any second now. Oh, he's using his diaper. I was going to say we should, we should put him on the toilet. You know, let's try to feed him in the high chair. Let's go vacuum up this one too. There's just dust everywhere. Come on. Yo, you need to go step on it then. Who's calling you, Corey? Corey, thank you for just now hang out with whoever that is. Good job on you guys for having a good time. Corey, you are about to pop. Okay, what we need to do, though, is plan a wedding. So we should plan a wedding for tomorrow. The wedding ceremony. Bride or groom, these two. Sim of honor. Okay, you know who you know who can't make this one? Corey, because Corey doesn't know nobody. We, okay, we have to go through and ask everybody. We got to ask people. So we got to ask for Sim of honor, an officiant, flower pal, ring bearer, guest. Okay. We need to call up all the boys over. Jonathan, invite him over. Where's Lucas? Invite him over. Should we invite Blake? I mean, so I suppose we can invite Blake. Okay, we're, they should be over here any second now. Ask to be efficient. Ask to be Sam Honor. They had a negative interaction and then a positive one. I mean, I suppose you can ask Lucas. Why don't you just take him out? Why is he still up there? Change his dirty diaper. We don't really know too many other people. Oh, let's invite Ashley. Okay, Ashley should be over here any moment now. Flower pal. Why is he asking 
Lucas about woohooing with men. He's still trying to get at Lucas all this time. And Blake, you can be the ring bearer. Why are we learning about woohoo interest? Interest? Uh, what are they doing? <gasps> He's. Uh, why does he keep doing that? Isaiah, like, just put it away. Isaiah, what do you want? I I don't I don't even I don't even care. Why did you guys just woohoo? Oh my gosh! Like they just woohoo right now. All right, our wedding's today. Our wedding's today, and it's about to start right now. I just cannot believe Isaiah. Let's all go. She's going into labor. <laughs> She's going into labor right now. During the wedding. See, all I want to do was get. She's gone into labor. Is the wedding happening, or is the wedding not happening? All right, it starts at three. P it starts at three p.m. However, there is literally. Like she's literally going into labor. Let's start. I don't even know. But like she's about to have the baby right now. I can't even think. Where is Isaiah? Isaiah, why are you sitting in here? Gather around. Her water broke. Her water broke. Isaiah, why are you still sitting in here? This is literally the worst wedding event ever. I don't even know where Corey's at. She's passed out up here trying to take a bath when she needs to go have a baby. S sit in her alone i can't join her we have a whole wedding right now you guys just left the baby Ugh. first of all it shouldn't even have Corey's last name it should have isaiah's last name okay i didn't get any names in the last video so we're just gonna randomize it five times one two three four five and our baby's name is wade Corey has checked out the hospital and is doing well. The baby is home resting. We'll have Corey get her, get back over here for the for the wedding ceremony. It's almost Wade's birthday. Wade was just born five minutes ago. All right, come on, everybody. You know, I know that they said the wedding pack was broken, but I didn't know that they meant it was this broken. You know, we're cheating needs, guys. We're cheating needs because this I, I can't deal. I can't deal with this no more. Ceremony activities. I finally got everybody here. They're exchanging the vows. They're about to kiss. Everybody's here sitting down on the floor. Rings are being exchanged. And we got our money. Well, you just kissed her and you ran away. I know. Like I said, we're cheating. We're cheating needs, bro. Nobody's tired. He literally cheated on so cheated on her with Ashley. You you satisfy the conditions to get the inheritance money. You'll get the deposit soon. Congrats. It feels like it's been forever since Isaiah has been romantic with his partner. It could be paranoia, but it could be paranoia. It could be anxiety or a gut feeling, but Isaiah can't help but wonder what his partner is up to or who they are seeing behind his back. You cheated on her again. How, do you guys think that this marriage is going to work out if he's cheating? All right, so he's tired. Let's go read Lucas to bed. And let's go... Let's go see our new man, our new guy, Wade. Look, look at this. Look at Isaiah's social sentiments right here, right? Made a best friend, got engaged, had an affair, got married. Like, I just don't understand him. I just can't believe having on like this woohoo thing. There's, there's nothing to be added to it. Like they just woohoo so quickly. Now let's put everybody to sleep. I'm gonna put the baby in here. And since I cheated all their needs, we're gonna cheat their needs back down. And with that, guys, I am going to end off today's video. Oh, the baby's crying. Get up, Corey. But I'm gonna end off today's video right here. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And this has been Breezy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.